know, maybe play with the folks a little bit more. Well, how are you doing this evening? Um, maybe I should get a little bit more light. What do you think? Uh, looks, makes my makes my eyes look a little dark here. Hold on just a second. Let me try something here. Uh, just got the camera fixed. So. Okay, that should be a little bit of an improvement there. Let me just kind of, uh, okay, that should, that should be fine. Okay, uh, well, here, here I am, and uh, uh, I'm doing a, <coughs> well, good evening, and how are you all doing? Holy Smoking by Padre here. Okay, um, this is a, a video to talk about one of my uh, latest uh, acquisitions, uh, gifts that was uh, sent to me, uh, which I just got yesterday, from Bruno Daily Puffer. By the way, if, you, if you've never seen any of Bruno's videos, you are missing out. Uh, one of the, one of our, uh, I would say one of the most uh, poetic of our pipe presenters. Uh, just wonderful videos. Um, I don't know how he does it. He can he can make super long videos, and people watch. You know, I make short videos, and people still don't watch. Just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, amazingly, interestingly enough, he sent me two pouches of. I'm going to see if I can zoom in on this Saint Bruno. Okay. Bruno sent me some Saint Bruno, okay? And those of you who saw my video last night, the world's worst, or the worst Yabo, yet another box opening ever, uh, know that I, I showed this, this, this wonderful gift of Saint Bruno. Tonight, what I thought I'd do is just kind of give you me my first impressions. I think that's, uh, I think, uh, there's, uh, I should do that, you know. Bruno took the time to, to uh, purchase these things and sent them all the way across uh, the Atlantic and uh, all the way through to California, A. That's where I live. That's all. That's about halfway across the world, folks. So I mean, you know, I think uh, a little video is uh, in order here. Okay. So what I want to do is I uh, just opened it up out of the package here, and I have never. Uh, I have to tell you just the the aroma now i will tell you i have smelled this aroma before but not so much in a pipe tobacco uh it is a tobacco you can tell there's a very strong uh tobacco smell okay um it reminds me of a <laughs> i used to i know some of you are out there who who do uh, snuff and i say god bless you i don't uh my grandma did my grandma, my grandma did. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but uh, I, I've never done that. But th it's just uh, you know, different strokes for different folks, I guess. Okay, uh, but there was some chewing tobacco. I used to love chewing tobacco. And uh, there was one that smelled very much like this. And it was really st uh, stout. Uh, it, it didn't have any sweetness in it. It was just straight tobacco, you know. I don't know what type of tobaccos they use for chewing tobacco, but anyway. So anyway, I thought, uh, just coming out of the pouch, now I haven't opened this yet, so, but I'm sure that I'm going to get more of an olfactory strong tobacco when I open this, okay? So there's a nice little seal there. Uh, this is a nice little pouch. I haven't had a pouch tobacco in, well, except for my half and half, uh, probably uh, a long, long time. Okay, here we go. We're opening it up. <laughs> you got to see this. This is cute. This is kind of cute. Uh, yeah. That's it. You got to got to you got to love it. Yeah. Okay. Jay, I know it's not a bulldog, but hey, it's pretty close. Okay. All right. So, we're back. Okay, so I'm opening it up. I'm going to break the seal in. Ooh. Interesting. A little bit more different than I thought it was going to be. Wow, that is absolutely different. 
I have never smelled tobacco like this. Wow. Uh, okay, what am I getting here? What am I getting? What is that? Okay, now, Bruno, probably, you might actually agree with me on this one. Now, I'm just going to come right out and say, it. yes, it's tobacco. I'm not sure uh, what, the, what the blends are here. Uh, Virginia, possibly, you know, lots of Virginia in here. That's, that's what I'm picking up. But, but you know what I smell in here? This is weird. I've never had this uh, fragrance, and I'm going to use that word intentionally. I get a hint of rose petals. I know you're probably saying you're you're you've lost it, you know, you've lost it. Rose petals, tobacco. It's there. It's hint, it's a, it's it's a very faint hint, but I can tell you it's it. There's an uh, herbal, uh, I mean a floral. Sorry, a floral uh, uh, scent uh, in in the background there. It you pick it up. You you really do. Okay. Now I know that this is uh, actually a flake, or at least it, you know, this is of course a, a ready rubbed distinctive blend of Virginia. Now I didn't read that, but I did not did I did I not say this is a primarily a Virginia blend? Uh, and you know what? That's not me, guys. That's you. That is a compliment to you. That's not a compliment to me. Because of watching your videos and taking the time to smoke the tobaccos that many of you recommend. And knowing the complexities and the balances and the and the comp composition of many of these tobaccos, uh, and knowing what it is, oh, I'm tasting Perique, oh, I'm tasting a Burley, oh, I'm tasting a Virginia, or I'm smelling a Virginia. So again, that's not me. Thought, look at me, I, I'm I'm such a connoisseur. No, it's it's actually by watching your videos. I, in the last uh, I'm coming up on my first year, if I make it. <laughs> uh, yeah, April first. April Fool's Day, how appropriate. Uh, but anyway, but by watching these videos from all of you presenters out there, and there are some of you I watch and I may not comment, but I'm going, oh, huh, this guy knows what he's talking about. I try to comment when I can. But anyway, I've learned an awful lot. I've received an education uh, from the YouTube Pipe University. And so anyway, so that's why I'm just saying that, yeah, you okay? But let's get back to this wonderful vapor, shall we? Okay. Um, I think the best thing to do now is uh, I'm going to uh, smoke it in honor of Bruno using again. I have to tell you, I, I have so many, uh, and I and I and I have to. I'm I'm, I'm by the way, I'm kind of going through. Uh, I'm in recovery for PAD now. Hi, my name is Francis, and I'm a pipeaholic. Um, hi, Francis. Um, Anyway, I just want to say that I, I've kind of pretty much, I wouldn't say I've stopped buying pipes altogether and tobacco, but I look around in every place and my, I got nooks and crannies with tobaccos and pipes now. And, and I'm, not, I'm not complaining. I know some people say, man, you complain about stuff that I would love to have. Well, you're right. But uh, with great pipes comes great responsibility. Ooh, I like that. That was good, you know. Okay, so anyway... Um, so anyway, I think it's only I do justice by pulling out probably the, the again my non plus ultra Dunhill, and uh, what would you guys do if I told you if I really confessed to you and said you know what these little white spots here I just painted them on there. <laughs> this is a Dr. Grabo. What would you say? Would you would you would you just would you, would you hate me? You probably would. Anyway, okay, um, okay, here we go. Um, I do have a little bit of pipe. Um, I have to edit some of this stuff out. Okay, here we go. Hold on a second. Just a, just a second. I'll edit this out here. <clears throat> oh. Cherry wood. <whistles> Love that one, too. That's one of my favorites. Okay. Okay. 
I'm making sure I edit all this out, okay? Because uh, I know uh, Ed, A to Z pipes, uh, he thinks I'm a little crazy. So um, he thinks I intentionally do certain things, and I, I really don't. I'm not as clever and creative as he is. Have you seen, by the way, have you seen the zombie pipe presenters video? What is with this guy, you know? This highly creative guy, and he just, he's fixated on death. I don't know, I just don't know. But I will tell you what, those uh, images, uh, wow. <laughs> Okay, I've loaded up my St. Bruno. Man, I'm really looking forward to this. Thank you, Bruno. You are awesome. Okay. Yeah. Pretty nice. Okay. Let's uh, let's get going here, shall we? Okay. Pull out the old Dunhill lighter. A lot of sweetness. A lot of sweetness. My Drew Tamper here. Okay, that was the Charlie. Mm. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm back with a uh, pipe full of St. Bruno. Oh, tobacco flake there. Mmm. Wow. That is delicious. No doubt about it. <coughs> I, when I sometimes really enjoy one, I kind of like, oh. I'll cut that out too. Mm. Wow. That is uh, sweet. It's delicious. Flavorful. Mm. And I gotta be honest with you. Because it came in a pouch, I was a little hesitant to think, well, but I knew Bruno wouldn't send me something that would be, you know, substandard. He'd always send you, he always does such a good job on his videos. You know he's that kind of guy to send you something that's superlative. Yeah, superlative. No, no doubt about it. Mm. Now, that's my checking out the room note there. The announcement. Mm. Hmm. Wow. Mm hmm. Well, it is a Virginia. <clears throat> there is a lot of sweetness, which I love. Um. Smokes, uh, there's no uh, tongue bite. But it's rich. It's, uh, it's wonderful. Mm. Mm. This is delightful. It's like poetry in a briar. Smoking a poem. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if I can detect in the smoke or on the palate some of those floral hints or overtones.
Um, I don't detect anything really noticeable. Because it draws very well. Uh, that's probably in part due to the, the design of this wonderful Dr. Grabo. But again, if you've wanted to try St. Bruno and, um, and are able to get some, uh, would I recommend it? Absolutely. Uh, you, you would enjoy this. This is good. Um, but you know, it's not, uh, it's not in English. But it's not, uh, it's not a Cavendish. Um, it's St. Bruno. <laughs> it's just as, almost a, this is basically a Virginia tobacco. Mm. Boy, that is delightful. That's, uh, wow. Um, I have been smoking Navy Flakes as of late uh, using the Jay's Z-Pack method. If you haven't seen Jay's uh, Z-Pack uh, method on flakes, um, check it out. Um, it's great. Um, and so I had some uh, Navy Flake and some other flakes that I was trying just to uh, do the fold and the roll method. Um, and, uh, you know, they're Virginias too but they're a little bit more kind of like hay, like, you know, hay, <laughs> more like, you know, sort of like, uh, they're, they're not quite as uh, sweet and they're not quite as uh, uh, pronounced, I guess, as this is. This has a, a really wonderful uh, Virginia flavor, very sweet rich, not overpowering. I know some guys, I know I just saw a video by Sean wandering in it, really close, and he was smoking a full Virginia Flake and you know, said it tastes like pancakes, you know, overly sweet with lots and lots of syrup. You know, this is not like that. This is really a well-balanced uh, Virginia and uh, I really enjoy it. So again, my first impressions of St. Bruno from uh, good old uh, Bruno in Portugal. Uh, good guy. Check him out. Daily Puffer. And thank you for being so kind, patient, and watching these uh, corny videos. And we'll see you next time. All right. Always smoking pipe, Andre. And I think you can know what I'm going to say. If you want to light up your world, light up your pipe. Thanks for watching. Good night, now.